Happy Thursday, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. I'm getting over a cold right now. I was very sick all day yesterday. I have to go to movie fights later today. I probably should have canceled. That was stupid on me. Got to go on. Yeah, or something. Got to win that new championship. Whatever. Yeah. And climb your way back up to the climb top. Climb your way back up. What, what good's a champ if you can't perform when you're not feeling well? Am I right? I'm sure Elton John sometimes performed on stage when he wasn't feeling well. Elton John's never not felt well. John, I'm trying to transition. Of course. Subscribe to the Reject Nation. <laughs> Click that <laughs> notification bell. Rocket Man, the official trailer. Before we hop into this, I would like to say thank you to everyone who is following us over at our Patreon page. Over there, we do weekly Q&As. TV show reaction stream alongs for shows such as My Hero Academia, I Just Finished All of Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, John's Done Most of Riverdale, he's just moved on to The Haunting of Hill House right now, I started up One Punch Man, Gotham, Supernatural, we also have reaction highlights included as of this month for certain shows, that includes Supernatural, One Punch Man, My Hero, My Hero Academia, I, thanks John. Appreciate you gave my back. He also does music video coverage. Music videos. <laughs> Yay. Ellen John and Lynx in some way. We're taking too long to get to this trailer. I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Okay, let's do it. Now that's how you do a trailer tease. Yeah. It's the best one. <laughs> right there. It's a little bit funny. <laughs> So shy no more. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, it looks like a really rousing, uh, fun movie. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna have its biopic tropes and everything. Mm -hmm. There's little nuggets of things that I I really like that make it stand out. I I mean that moment where is Reginald? That's this, 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 this a person who mainly wrote songs with, right? Oh, Bernie Taupin. Oh, that was Bernie Taupin. Who's Reginald? These Reginald to? Dwight is his real name. He, he took no no no. Who is he talking to in the in that moment where he's yelling at him? This is great. No one pays great to footage. see Reg Dwight? Yeah. Oh, that's what that's he's, oh, he's yeah. talking about. Yeah, no right. one pays I thought, to I see. I was talking to him. That's right. Yeah, my yeah. bad. 
feeling a little underwater. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm <not> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, but, but even in that moment where he's yelling at him, it, that usually just, that seemed like such a biopic moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and, fact that they included <laughs> that little... No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, thank God I did that. Because well, yeah. normally in any biopic, he would just gone on stage and like, man, this guy really got greedy and very egotistical, mm. didn't he? You know, so having just little human moments like that. And I know Elton John is... Very directly involved with this movie. Oh, his company produced it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how... A lot of times that gives people faith when you hear things like that. But after seeing uh, yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody and even heard of her with even Green... A lot of times with these biopics, there's someone from the real life involved with the biopic. A lot of times. That doesn't really lend itself to being authentic. Yeah, you're like, how, how many of the uh, the warts are we going to cover up? Yeah. You know, in this warts and all tale. <laughs> you know, how glamorized is this going to be? And I, I you know, I, I really wonder. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Elton John seems like he could take at least a little bit of ribbing. But I, I always now, especially since Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm kind of wary of how, uh, you know, how much historical correction is going to happen through this? Well, it seems like they're going to really commit to it this time around. And what That's I also, looks, yeah. what I also really, I just love. Uh, we touched on it on the teaser trailer. There's there is a lot of the fantasy element, sort of stepping into the imagination yeah. of Elton John. Uh, you know, like even calling it Rocket Man, I think is very appropriate. Like that, I don't know Rocket Man to be his most famous song. I've heard like Goodbye Yellow Brick Road or. Uh, mm -hmm. Even it, it was, you know, your Jets your song, your song. Yeah, I've heard those are usually higher up on the list of the Elton John tracks. But I think Rocket Man's a good encompassing one for him because of you know it's about a spaceman yeah. who I'm wants to go man. home and you know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's lost in the whole other world. It's, like, it's a very imaginative song. Yeah, and it I, seems like a good metaphor for the man. Yeah, right? it's a, it's very appropriate for especially with what we're seeing with the visuals accompanying this movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tara Edgerton, is it Edgerton or Edgerton? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Got to look up an interview and see how they say it. <laughs> but Tara, you know, he looks like he's going to do a really terrific job. I mean, biopics are usually a sure way to get yourself that Oscar nomination. Yeah, and they make it a big deal, the fact that he's singing all the songs himself. He can actually sing. And I always prefer that. Always. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> even if... I never expect the actor's vocals to match the uh, actual singers. No, and these are going to be better. It's going to be better. Like, <laughs> wow, I prefer this over Elton John. This should Josh. be Taron Edgerton. Elton John should have played him. Because it does sound different, but there, it lends itself to a level of something that feels much more authentic, you know? And I mean, that's partial. That's a big part of what kind of pulls me out of that Live Aid performance in Bohemian Rhapsody is I'm like, man, this is, so I, I keep thinking it's like just the best lip sync performance. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not even karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say karaoke, and it's not. So watching him here, I'm like, there's, he has to communicate that emotion through his voice, you know, not just the body language this time around. I'm, man, the costume design here and the production design, the, oh, the, yeah. the vibrant colors here, this looks like a, just a beautiful fucking film. Oh, this yeah. This looks beautiful. Well, and that's, I mean, intrinsic to Elton John, too, because, I mean, even before he started getting, like, super crazy with the costumes, it seems like he always had a sense for showmanship and the sense for you know they 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 say that thing at the end of the trailer about like oh he was always such a shy boy and I gotta imagine like you know that was part of you know going against that for the stage yeah. like I'm gonna dress as big as I can or at least in these you know uh, uh, matching elaborate costumes and stuff like that. I mean I, I there's there's some biopics where you hear or they're like you know their struggles to be unique and their their criticisms of being who they are and it feels kind of just glossed over. And I feel like it's very essential to this experience we're going to go on with uh, Elton John, the character in this movie. Oh, yeah. I, at least I hope they do it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like a truly <laughs> unique figure. And, like, and his style especially was just so out there that I, I get why people would... Like, like the moments here, those criticisms I, I imagine really did happen and where people were up in, in front of his face, like just really judging him for it. Yeah. And I, I think that it's... You know, I feel, I feel like it is an essential quality to this film. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because there's that scene in Bohemian. I keep comparing this book. You know, it's like, of course, you're going to Bohemian Rhapsody just came out. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. what I think that you know, we're we're starting to see what this new wave of biopics feels like, especially with the people, the subjects so involved now. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean. Who's next on the list? Billy Joel. Billy, sure. Why Who's not? Who's a famous gay let's, singer? Uh, is he gay? I don't know. <laughs> let's get a. Uh, let's do Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden. Let's switch over to, <laughs> to uh, some heavy metal. Like uh, I just need to know who's next. I mean, Elton John and Freddie. Let's Mercury do George were, Michael. They were friends. George Michael. It's George Michael. Yeah, there we yeah. go. We'll write that. I mean, I mean, theoretically, it wasn't wasn't Elton John by. Doesn't matter. I mean, you know, make a make a choice, man. Only going no. gay. <laughs> <laughs> Only yeah, yeah. We're gonna oversimplify this. That that was a joke, by the way. I didn't really mean that. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, uh, before we wrap this up, I would like to give a patron of the day shout out to a uh, a lady of our channel of our Patreon page. Ah, shit, Rosa Parra. Rosa. Hey, uh, Rosa, this is. This this Patreon shout out is, is your song right here. Rosa. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. You, I hope you enjoy this film. You make me want to fly to the space like a rocket man. Like a rocket man. You know? You just really get me going. And you make me move my emotions so much, I start moving like a, like a tiny dancer just for you. Oh, hold me closer, Rosa Parra. That's uh, what I yeah. say. And uh, sometimes I go through tough times, but... I'm still standing because of you. Singing Ooh. your song. Yeah. Crocodile Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes I, I just want to move so fast, like Benny in the Jets, yeah. because of how much you move my heart. But we're making a sacrifice <laughs> right now to not move so that we can be here to make this I shout mean, out can you me. feel the love tonight, <laughs> Rosa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone saved my life tonight, and it was you. Oh, look, there's a skyline pigeon above us. <laughs> Saturday night's all right, but you know what I love the most is Thursday mornings, because that's when we give Rosa Parra a shout-out. Oh, uh, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> well, yes, little genie. <laughs> all right. Subscribe, Patreon, whatever. See me on Movie Fights later. Bye. Woo.